Hi, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you in your situation. What's in the situation for Scorpio? Guys, we're reading for the first week of May, uh, second week of May. It can be your first week as well. Because I don't know if I've done any readings in the past two weeks. But I'm really reading for the second week of May. It can also apply from now up until mid-May. All right, what is the situation up until the second week of May for my beautiful Scorpios? What's going on the second week of May, please? We have a commitment that's being challenged. Hmm. What's coming towards them, please? What's coming towards them, please? Well, you are getting some kind of conversation going flowing between the two of you. I can at least tell you that much because it has felt like some breadcrumbs from what I'm seeing here. What's the surprise for Scorpio, please? Well, it's because somebody's acting like a flirt, like a fling, like an in and out sexy Charlie or sexy Charlene over here. What kind of shit is that? And it's overwhelming and it's burdening you. What's the advice for Scorpio? I should shut up right now and just wait for all the cards to come out. It's of like reading it piece by piece. Let's see what's going on. What be the outcome, please, for the week? Oh, look at that. How interesting. Some of you can be dealing with a marriage or are married or or a commitment is being tested here. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, wow. All right. So some of you are moving on from a situation, okay? Whether it was a negative situation and you two are moving on to a better place or you're leaving somebody behind because you're moving on. Because that's the overall theme of the week with the Six of Swords. Um, let me see what else is going on here reconciliation possibly you were juggling something in and out with somebody you had to decide between two people you were very resistant and uh you needed a moment somebody needed a moment here to heal all right scorpio in the recent past you needed to make a decision you needed to make a judgment call potentially possibly between two people Queens are you, kings is the oncoming energy, whether it's male or female does not matter. Because I have two kings back here. One is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the other one is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. These are not you, these are your peoples. So either you had two peoples, or one person embodying the same energy of somebody emotionally available, intelligent, and financially secure. Doesn't matter anyway. This person texted you, invited you out for drinks, or you did this. If you did this, they did this to you. They spilled out your cups. They spilled out your love. They spilled out your emotions. You were like, what the fuck? Um, so spirit stepped in and said, don't worry, Scorpio. We're going to give you another go around with this person. Or we're going to bring some change, some healthy, lucky change into your life. With that said, you started healing. All right? Because you had to decide between two people. Definitely two people. If, the, if you didn't have to decide between two people, then this person was juggling you and someone else. Two twos. All right? Definitely third party situation. 100 motherfucking percent. Uh, that's who I'm reading for. Either you were carrying on with two people or they were, and you were one of them. So third party situation, juggling two people. You saying to yourself, well, fuck that. I'm moving on. I'm not going to do that. Anyway. In your situation here, you are feeling challenged, blocks, obstacles, arguments, fighting over this commitment. Ten of pentacles. Ten of cups, I'm sorry. Ten of cups, where you're here as a happy couple, you both mutually love each other, but it's being challenged. Let's see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards you is the six of pentacles, the eight of wands, and the page of wands in reverse. This is lack of like... So it's very immature energy. I'm going to say that for a fact. But this is making me feel like there's a lack of excitement. There's a lack of uh, action towards your future. There's a lack of 
curiosity. It's just like, mm, to you, Scorpio. And then there's this communication going back and forth where someone here is being breadcrumbed just so they can stay in their orbit. So you could be doing this to somebody or somebody's doing this to you. But somebody here is trying really hard to balance the scales. It's just that one of you is lacking the feeling of potential in the situation. Um, but we'll see what that is specifically, the Page of Wands in reverse. Um, what you don't see coming is the Three of Wands. All right, so somebody's coming in towards you, Scorpio, like this. This could be you also. Just very flighty, in and out, flirting and then leaving, getting what they need and going away and coming back for some more whenever they feel like it. All right, and constantly waiting for that person to do that. That's why there's the breadcrumbs, waiting for this person. It's like having highs and lows. Very high are the highs and very low are the lows. So it's like you're constantly waiting for the highs here because this person is not stabilizing. They're not committing to you. And it's starting to fucking drain you. Starting to fucking drain you, Scorpio. That's why you're moving on. Because you're getting breadcrumbs from this person. You see a lack of activity and action from them. This this happiness between the two of you is being challenged. You kind of almost feel like looking for the action in a way. Anyway, your advice is the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. You're in a place right now where you feel like you're in jail. Mental jail. You feel stuck. And they're like, you need to get the fuck out of this. You need to get out of this. You need to get out of your head or out of this situation. Maybe you think that there is no resolution here. There is. You just haven't thought of it yet. Someone's going to say something to you. Someone's going to approach you. They're going to give you an idea and you're going to get out of it. How? This person's going to make you an offer of some kind. They're going to crack the door open for you to step on in with this page of pentacles. Others of you, if this is work related, this is talking about you needing to learn some kind of new craft some kind of new thing because right now you feel like you're stuck some of you need to go back to school or learn the tricks of the trade of this new career job situation and you will find yourself getting unstuck now as far as your outcome is concerned you're pulling yourself out of a third party situation third party situation no more goodbye three of pentacles in reverse because there are secrets being held from you and you intuitively are picking up on them you don't have all the facts, Scorpio, and you know it. It's pissing you off and it's bugging you. And you're like, I'm not going to collaborate with this fucking person. Some of you could even be in court with this person. If you are, great. It's in the upright position. That means you will win out. Others of you, this person, or I might even say the universe is stepping in to give you justice for this whole dynamic that you're dealing with. Especially when I see in the upright position... Good justice is coming your way. It's coming to give you wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. So these two together tells me wish fulfillment because somebody here wasn't revealing all the facts to you. That you were in a third party situation and you possibly might have figured it out and you bounced or I don't know. But somebody here also sees you as part of their future, Scorpio. They're looking out into the future and they see you with them. There's a couple here. This can also be you. You are just trying to move on into the right direction happily ever after. That's all you care about. It's all you want. Now let's go ahead and start clarifying this and see what's going on here. What's the five of wands and the ten of cups, please? Yeah, whatever these blocks, obstacles, and challenges that you have in this uh, courtship or this couplehood or this relationship, it's dealing with um, some kind of toxic situation here with the devil, all right? Because now you have two fives, and the, t the fives are the challenges that we need to overcome in life. So this is talking about abandonment. Somebody here is not getting over the abandonment issue, whether it's with you because you put them in the doghouse or because it's part of their past As somebody's here it's their past so they're becoming codependent and obsessed 
because in the past they might have been abandoned and they're they're fearing this abandonment and this is what's going on here it's gonna be you or them somebody is fearing abandonment yeah it can be you too scorpio you're fearing this abandonment with this person so maybe this is why you're not letting them go or they're fearing this What's this page of wands in reverse with the six of pentacles and the eight of wands? Oh, this is a lot. Oh my God. All right, well, first off, there's two aces here. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. This talks about a passion new beginning, but a solid new beginning also. Um, Eight of Wands, communicating action between the two of you. And when I say communication, the Knight of Swords, quick, fast, moving action in communication. Back and forth between the two of you. Problem is somebody here is moving very, very fucking slow. So goddamn slow, you can't even see this motherfucker coming. It's so annoying. Sorry, it's just <laughs> how it is. The, per the reason this person is coming so slow and they're breadcrumbing you, or I don't know if you're doing this, be honest. Um, it's happening because this person is being cautious. That's why you have the Six of Pentacles. Here, here's a few little more pennies. Just make sure you stay around me. And you have the Eight of Wands communicating with you ever so often so you don't go anywhere. Just so I can still be single until I figure it out. Just so I can be single until I figure it out. I want to be independent and single and have my cake and eat it too. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. I don't know why they're doing this. They're just, I, Mostly because they're being cautious. But they are coming towards you with the intentions of a pentacle. The ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is not flaky. Their actions is one thing and their intentions is a whole other. It's interesting. Their intentions is solid, but their actions are flaky. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. They have love for you. The King of Cups. You, on the other hand, you're like, where's the action? Like, okay, we're having conversations, but where's the future? I don't see it. It's like I'm bored in a way. Not that you're bored. You just like this page of wands. Like what what's this page of wands? Go ahead, hit me up, spirit. Yeah. It's like ugh, this action that's coming towards you. It's somebody here is so driven and focused on their future. Um they're they're not saying much to you with the moon over here. It's like, oh, I have my job, I have my career, and this and that, and you're like, yo, what's that gotta do with me? And stresses you out. You're like, this is not fun. This is not exciting. This is not... I don't see what the future is going to bring here with this person. It's sort of the energy. I don't know. And it could be them too. Um, what you don't see coming is the Three of Wands. The Knight of Wands. It's like you're waiting for them to come back in to give you a little bit of action. And then they leave. And this drains you, Scorpio. This really fucking drains you. What am I doing? No wonder it felt odd in my hands. I looked down, the cards were backwards. It was the first time in my life that the cards felt odd in my hands. It was a strange sensation. All right, so the Three of Wands is clarified by no shit. <laughs> Pisces energy over here, the hangman. Joggling two energies, in and out energy. This is in and out. Hi, let's have a quickie and goodbye. Sometimes it talks about two people, juggling two people. Aries energy. The emperor, trying somebody that's older than you, or you could be older than them. There's just like an age gap here. Uh, this person is trying to take control by doing this, by doing this in and out. They think that they have control of the situation by being like this, flighty, uh, I don't know why they're doing this. It's so retarded. 
but it's keeping you guys in a stuck position. This person is staying um, focused on their own personal life, their own personal agenda. Yeah. And I don't think you're digging this, Scorpio. You might have had the best of them in the past, and now I don't know what this is. This is them trying to control their own future, their own lives by being in and out. They think that they can control the situation with you if they do this. But meanwhile, it's like you're waiting for them to come back, give you a little, they leave, they come. This is not sustainable. This is never sustainable. The juggling, the in and out. What's the page of pentacles? Your advice is to make some kind of offer here in order to get yourself unstuck. That's pretty much what the advice is. Making some sort of solid offer, some sort of commitment of some kind with this page of pentacles. Others of you, this is learning something new in your craft. Yes, because some of you are uh, focused on your career and you're driven. Um, Nine of cups in reverse, talking about things that are not bringing you wish fulfillment. This will bring you wish fulfillment because something you're doing now is not making you happy and you want to change or you want to do something different. You got to go out there and learn something new. And that's what's going to help you get unstuck. Because right now you're not really happy with your situation in regards to your career or what's drive your driving force. Others of you, if this is love related, again, you have to make some kind of solid offer to this person. It will get the both of you unstuck because you're not happy and you want to move on from the situation. That is clearly your advice, because right now you're in this place where you have to make a judgment call. Now, what is the outcome for Scorpio, please? The moon in reverse, the three of pentacles in reverse, the two of... This is like no longer collaborating with somebody or a third-party situation. Um, justice comes in to bring you wish fulfillment. Hmm. Just what I thought. Putting you in the right direction, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk to find something exciting and new. And this heals you, but this is too much. But that's the common thread I got from here. So please break it down, spirit. Because you don't have all the answers with the moon upright. There are things being hidden from you. And you might be the third party without even knowing it. But spirit's got your back with justice over here. Yep, new love is coming in for you. With success, I might add. You are getting fresh new start in love, Ace of Cups, with validation. Um, that's why you have the, the Justice card here. And that's why you have Wish Fulfillment. Because you have fresh new love coming in. You're, somebody's acknowledging you. This is your vindication. This is your reward. Because you didn't have all the facts. What you probably don't know is that this person's in love with you, but they're acting like this flighty what the fuck ever. Meanwhile, their intentions are really to come towards you with something solid. Yeah. They see you as their future. Just not telling you. That's all. Because they're showing you, and you're kind of like, I'm not going to work with this. I'm not working with this kind of bullshit. Others of you, this person dropped the third party situation to come towards you. Yeah, they were not revealing their feelings to you or their emotions or what was going on. You see at the bottom of the deck, the nine of wands, emotionally guarded. Yeah, wanted to reconciliate. Others of you date you. Again, I just keep seeing threes as a third party situation. Now let's go ahead and see what your uh, romance angels have to say. I'm going to do a quick, maybe 10 minute uh, extended. Um, the link is down below. It's for my members only. Uh, memberships is great because it's a small little fee that you have for the month and you have access to every single extended video I do for the whole month. So that's also other zodiac signs as well. They're extended. Uh, Scorpio, please. Oh yeah, passion and new love. Hello. That's what that was before, fresh new love and passion. In the extended, I clarified this also with Tarot. Um, let's get some of your oracle messages from your ancestors and your angels and spirit guides. I do need to read from the pamphlet. It's very short and sweet, but these words and these messages are typically very profound to your own reading. Scorpio, please. Scorpio, please. 
let's see what's going on here. High Priestess of Fire. I love this card. And Understanding. I never read this one before. This must be so beautiful. I can't wait to read that one. But let's do High Priestess of Fire first because these messages are so incredible. And they really sit, like, really resonate at times. My child, you may have chosen the symbol of the Vampiri High Priestess of Fire, the goddess of creativity and passion. Here you are. This is you, Scorpio. Whenever she arrives, she reminds you of your ability to create your own reality and how to choose your channel, your energy. If you are restless, call upon the High Priestess of Fire for inspiration and joy. She will release you from the trap of boredom. Page of Wands in reverse. Fire brings warmth and light, but it also burns when it allows you to get out of control. Spend your energy creatively, not impulsively, and guard yourself against burning out. Use your fire wisely and let your light shine brightly. Now this one, I can't wait to see an understanding 43. All right, so let's see. This is a uh, final message for you. Sorry for that. This is a symbol for deep and true comprehension. It is one thing to read something or hear something, but it is another thing to truly understand something. You are being asked to keep an open mind and heart to allow yourself to absorb information as you receive it. Be open to the wisdom that can come only with time, patience, and perspective. Try to get outside of yourself and imagine what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes. To understand this is to have power. All right, guys, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me your comments down below. And I will see you on the next one.